Okay, so that was just a little bit on a stick of the Fire Opal acrylic paint. Just a little bit, because you don't want more than 10% or so of acrylic paint and your resin. And that is a beautiful color. And then I want some gold. So I put just a little bit on a stick of the Pigment Paste El Dorado by KS Resin and some of this beautiful Decorum shiny gold. So just a little bit of pigment paste on the stick and the pigment powder. I think I am going to put a little bit more pigment paste. I'm good on the powder, I think. So. stick off. Just stick it in the paste and just use what's on the tip. Okay. I got rich gold pinata alcohol ink. I'm going to put just one drop in both of those just for the heck of it. Don't ask me why. We want enough pigment to where you're going to see it. I want a little bit more gold than the copper. Okay, so this cup may be all of the rest of the resin. I don't know. I may leave a little bit of clear in okay, case so I can't decide what to do with it. <laughs> I may need it all. I just hope one day I don't put that in my mouth and just like lick it, you know, just out of habit, you know, from taking something off a stick and licking it, I tell you. That worries me. Okay, I'm going to use the bigger stick in this cup. Clean that up. So this is pretty full. This is a 9 ounce cup. Put the pigment powder Arteza Chocolate Brown. So I want this kind of like a bronzy color but still transparent. It's looking pretty good, but um, I do have. This is actually, it's called coffee. It's a Let's Resin pigment. I squeeze several, just kind of a continual squeeze. I'm going to put a little bit more of the mica powder. I don't want a ton because I do want it transparent.
Why am I doing this in a little cup when I could do it in the big one, right? Mm. Yeah, I think I'll transfer it. Okay, so now I can see what I'm doing. I can stir. So it is pretty transparent. This is still something I'm learning on, so as far as the the chemistry of it, um, I kind of want flower petals, but I don't know if I'll get them. If I put too much mica powder, not enough alcohol ink, you know, this is where I'm still learning, so. Put a few more drops of this coffee in. I was going to use piping bags, but I don't think I will. I've got some gold leaf and clear right here. Counterculture, medium viscosity, artist resin. Love it, love it, love it. I have a bracelet. I'm hoping I'll remember to put a little bit in it. Okay, everything that could go wrong did go wrong there. I dropped the cloth in it two or three times and then I just dropped the cup in it. 
because things are sticky and it sticks to you and then it lets go and you have no control over it. So, OMG, what a cluster. And all the gold leaf is sinking to the bottom, so it'll be on the other side. It'll be like a big puddle. So, um, I would not say that this is a win for me. I just uh, couldn't hold on to stuff tonight. So we'll see how it turns out. You know, still could be pretty, and it could not be pretty at all. We'll just have to see tomorrow. Bring him closer to see the detail. Pretty now, but it'll change through the night. It'll probably just kind of all blend together is what I'm suspecting. Be back tomorrow. Okay. So my snafu has sat overnight. You know, two of them I dropped stuff in. So they're pretty and shimmery, so that's what counts, right? The uh, the brown color ended up being more transparent than I thought it would be. That's okay. You're gonna see lots of glitter on the other side, and I heated. It had white resin that was stuck to the top, so that that stuck. So, pretty much, the underside is the prettier part. Even the, gl the uh, gold leaf didn't totally sink through, which I'm kind of surprised. has the most gold leaf shown. So that effect did not work like I had planned, but they're still pretty. I'm not going to be hard on myself. You know, I'm learning. I might do gold edges. These could be some that I embellish. Who knows? So there they are. The flower shape didn't stay, but they're shimmery and I like the copper and gold together, so they're pretty. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making them anyway, even if I did drop things several times and you know, all that. But if you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell in the bottom right down there for notifications and check out all the links below the video. I'll share what I used and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.